It's currently Monday and I'm really excited to make this video for you guys because I just feel like everybody sleeps on Mondays and it's definitely the most dreaded day of the week. And that's kind of sad because it's like so many people don't want to start the week but if you think about it, you're almost wasting your life away like that because you're not being present in the moment and enjoying every single day. And I know everybody's situation is different but I just feel like it's important to really enjoy every single day of your life, whether that's a Monday or a Wednesday or a Friday or a Saturday, because at the end of the day, the days of the week, like the names of the week, they're just made up. It's not actually real. Like today's Monday, but it's just like any other day. And I especially like Mondays because I have the whole entire week ahead of me to accomplish what i want to accomplish to get things done and it just feels really good to have this whole blank slate ahead of me that's kind of how i look at it rather than dreading having the whole work week ahead of me and i even would do this when i worked a job that i did not like but your mindset is everything and having a good mindset going into the week would make it much more enjoyable rather than me dreading it so much and also it feels really good to get back into my routine from the weekend because i'm the type of person who on the weekend i like to do absolutely nothing it's fun to go out once in a while in the evening but in terms of like waking up on the weekend i like to just let my body sleep in until whenever i want i like to lay in bed until whenever i want so i'm very lenient with myself and my days off so it really feels good on a monday i'm like okay i'm gonna get back into my routine i'm gonna get back into doing the things that make me really feel good so that's something that i really look forward to is that i curated a routine for myself that i actually really enjoy doing every single morning and so on a sunday night i actually look forward to waking up and doing that routine so i feel like that's also a vital part in it is curating a routine that you really love doing i'm just gonna ice roll my face and then i just boiled the water so we're gonna go make our bone broth and then do the rest of our morning routine happy monday bitches <laughs> Drinking water in the morning is just the best thing ever. If you haven't tried it, drinking water first thing, just go and pour yourself a nice glass of water. Have a couple sips and it just rejuvenates the body. Like that plus ice rolling, the cold water internally wakes me up and then the ice rolling externally wakes me up. You know what I mean? So those two combined is just... So I've been still using Dr. Killian's bone broth every single morning. I genuinely love them so much. I can't go without it in the morning anymore. So if I run out, I'll be very sad. But yeah, they're so good. got to the gym the sun is setting so much earlier i mean sorry not setting the sun is rising so much earlier now and it's not like fully bright outside but it's pretty bright outside right now which is weird because usually by the time i actually get to the gym it's still dark outside so this is weird like i'm like what the heck how much changed in like a week like i don't get how this changed so fast but i guess it's like the days are getting longer now which is actually really nice in the summer it literally gets bright at like what 5 a.m or something which is crazy anyways so we're at the gym because it is monday and monday's the type of day where i like to bang things out meaning in terms of like going to the gym like i have an apartment gym and then i actually go to the gym as well but i only come to this gym like twice a week because i don't need all the machines five days a week because when i work out of my apartment gym it's more like cardio based workouts upper body but then when i come here i do like leg days because they have like all the equipment for it but these are like the days that i dread the most if you know what i mean so i make sure to put it on a monday because it's a fresh start to the week i'm the most motivated at the 
beginning of the week I know myself tomorrow is gonna thank me for doing this workout today and that's why I love Mondays it's because it's just the day where I feel like a beast and I'm like yeah I'm gonna get so much accomplished today and it's better to look at it that way instead of being like ew like I have to do so much because tomorrow's Monday it's literally just a tweak in your mindset I can't even like say this enough it's just all about your mindset you guys and how you look at things and that's gonna make the biggest difference in your day-to-day -day happiness in your day-to-day -day motivation it's all about your mindset even if I come out today and something negative happens I'm not gonna let that ruin my day because of my mindset and I'm gonna be like you know what shit happens we're not gonna let this ruin the day it's gonna be a good day today and as long as you have that mentality and keep saying those affirmations to yourself even no matter what happens then it'll be a good day and it'll actually be true even if you have to lie at first like oh I'm so excited to go to the gym it's gonna be such a good day but you're lying to yourself it actually works because it plants a seed in your brain and then you subconsciously start think actually thinking that and it works a few years ago I was not confident at all and to be confident I literally planted that seed in my brain and I would lie to myself and be like you know what I'm so confident I'm the baddest bitch in the room and even though I was lying to myself at the time I eventually actually started to believe it and it works it may seem stupid but trust me it actually works and that's the key to having a good mindset is just repeating those things to yourself whether you believe it or not because it will come true and you will start to actually believe it and it will come into fruition anyways today's gonna be a great workout <laughs> and it's gonna be a great day so let's go work out get this leg day done we're gonna feel so good after let's do this makeup i actually have bought a lot of kind of drugstore makeup recently that i've been really loving so i'm going to show you guys probably in one of my next videos what i found because i've been buying like high-end makeup from sephora for a while now and i've just kind of not been to the drugstore but then a bunch of like videos on my tiktok feed popped up and they were all about like drugstore makeup and i'm like you know what I'm gonna give the drugstore a chance again and I'm gonna go buy some products and I did and I've been loving a few products I've also switched to using this elf blending brush It's called the ultimate blending and I've switched to using this to blend out like my concealer and everything instead of using a beauty blender And I love it so much. This is such a good brush And it was only like maybe under ten dollars like eight dollars or something Which is like a really good price for a brush. But anyways, i'm just currently drinking this matcha that I made I'm trying to stay away from coffee because I feel like it hurts my stomach a bit I don't know I go through phases with coffee where it's like I'll have it every day and then I'll go through phases where I won't have it for like a month but right now I'm kind of in my matcha face skin so cheers to that get ready with me's are so popular on tiktok right now so I'm like you know what while I do my makeup I'm gonna turn on the camera and we're gonna talk because I feel like I need stimulation when I'm getting ready so that's either me putting on a youtube video or listening to music I can't just do it in silence it just it needs to be fun I'm actually obsessed with my nails I got them taken off and I've never been happier it just feels so good to have no nails I feel like I can do so many more things don't get me wrong i do love nails and i will get them again but for right now i love just having them off and i'm obsessed with this pink color but anyways let's talk a little bit more about mondays and how i've grown to really like them mondays just have such a bad stigma about them so one of the things that really helped me like not hate them is planning something fun throughout the week it doesn't have to be anything too extravagant but plan at least one thing every single week that you can look forward to that doesn't have to do with your work that just is for you so i don't know maybe plan going to a coffee shop with a friend or even just taking yourself out to a coffee shop just something that when sunday comes around and you're thinking about the week ahead you can be like oh my god i'm so excited to do this doesn't have to be anything big like i said but it always helps even just like planning a little shopping date but i feel like whenever i plan something for the week it always helps me really look forward to it instead of dread it use this rare beauty blush because i haven't used this one in so long it's in the shade happy this is such a pretty shade 
one thing i also wanted to talk about is really just enjoying the journey that you're on if you're constantly dreading your week to week and you're constantly dreading waking up on monday you're not enjoying your life and that's really sad what i realized is that we're all on a unique journey and let's say you're working towards something right now because you feel like you have a higher purpose so you're kind of just like going on this journey where you're working towards something but you want to see the end result and you want to get there so fast at the end of the day the journey is what is the fun part enjoy the journey because once you get there you're gonna wish you had enjoyed it more no matter what you're doing in your day to day it's important to be present have gratitude that you're even alive and that you're even able to have this experience on this earth we do not know how much work it took for us to actually get on this planet and have this experience in a human body when we die we're probably gonna wish that we were more present and we appreciated it more so that's why it's just so important to realize how precious life really is that's really deep but that kind of like ties back into appreciating mondays and even though this is the beginning of the new week take that as something that's magical and beautiful and oh my god i get to wake up on a monday i'm alive i'm well i'm healthy also, it's important to think of every day as kind of a new adventure. A lot of the times we just go through the motions in life. It's like, oh, another Monday doing the same old thing. But if you make every day an adventure and you just kind of think of it as like, oh, anything can happen today and you just kind of are spontaneous in the moment. That's also what helps me is like switching things up in my day to day. Like, yes, I stick to a generalized routine every single morning and kind of have myself in that flow. I do still love to switch things up if I want to do something different, you know, because every day does not need to look the same. And just because you have like a routine down doesn't mean you need to stick to it like precisely every single day just think of it as like an outline or a rubric and then you can kind of like go in and change it if you want just to make every day feel different if you're just kind of going through the motions of everything every day rather than like being present then you're not actually enjoying your journey and it's almost like you're just trying to get through the week you're trying to get through the day so that it's tuesday or so that it's friday already it helped me so much not having that mentality where i was just like striving for fridays i was striving for the next day of the week so i can be closer to the weekend when you you don't have that mentality when you just kind of go into every single day like it's a brand new day no label on it it really really helps the day monday it only exists because society says that it's a monday but it's not actually like a monday it's just like you're waking up it's the same exact thing as waking up on a saturday in terms of like it's a brand new day you know and so if you think of it like that it's a lot easier to want to enjoy your day this is the Pill Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. This mascara, it keeps my lashes so separated. And I thought that that was a me problem that my lashes just clumped together. But then when I tried this mascara, I'm like, holy shit, like it's not a me problem. I've kind of just registered in my brain that like life is a video game. It just makes things a lot more fun in terms of like your day to day. Everything is about your mindset, you guys. And that is what I have learned through my life experience so far. Your mindset is key to literally everything. I really want to get another keratin treatment done to my hair because the last one that i got was so long ago it was like right before the summer so it's been like more than half a year but i really want to get one because it actually like changed my life i'm definitely gonna get one again soon if you guys have very unmanageable hair i would definitely recommend looking into one because it honestly like changed the hair game for me and it didn't ruin my hair like whatsoever it honestly like made it healthier or at least made it look healthier so I think I'm gonna do a bit of work. Not sure if I want to go to a coffee shop today. I'm just gonna kind of clean up my vanity right now because it's a mess. And then we'll decide what we want to do. This is the aftermath after getting ready. <laughs> I'm interrupting today's video to introduce you guys to Fixed. Trust me, you're gonna wanna hear this. So if you guys drive and own a car like I do, but know absolutely nothing about the repairs, the maintenance on the cars, how much stuff is supposed to cost, to definitely look into Fixed. Owning and driving a car, there's just so much to worry about. And I honestly just have no idea if there's ever something wrong with my car, which is a really bad thing. So Fixed is an OBD2 sensor. And what you do is you plug it in your obd2 port in your car every car 1996 and newer have this port as soon as you plug this in you connect it to 
the fixed app what this does is it does a diagnosis of your car so it tells you everything you need to know and you guys the best thing is is that it'll give you like an estimation of what parts and labor is going to cost so that you know that the mechanic shop is not ripping you off it'll find your location it'll tell you all the maintenance and repair shops nearby give estimate prices of what it should be so that you know that you're never getting ripped off and you know exactly what needs to be done to your car without having to ask anybody because it's all laid out for you on the app also has a monitoring system so it's going to remind you um, when you need to do like regular maintenance on your vehicle like when you need to do the tire rotation oil change etc it will send notifications straight to your phone which is so nice so let's say you're driving and your engine light comes on and you're like, oh no, what do I do now? Just pull over and then you can plug in your fixed device in your OBD2 port and then you can run a quick diagnostic right on your phone and it'll tell you whether it's safe to continue driving or if it's safe to continue to drive to the nearest mechanic shop. And also look at how cute and tiny this device is. You can always pass it along to your friend or your family if they wanna check their cars as well, but it's so easy and convenient, you guys, and I've never felt more confident and safe with my car because I just know having this around if anything happens I can just plug this in and it'll tell me exactly what's up on my phone but yeah the app is just so um, simple and easy to read I can vouch for that because I know nothing about cars you guys like literally nothing but if you guys want to shop you can use my link down below and get this for $20 instead of 60 with my exclusive link and yeah it's honestly so worth the price it could save you so much money down the line i thank you so much to fix for sponsoring this video i honestly didn't even never even knew anything like this existed so i'm so happy but i had the most ginormous breakfast today so i'm not even that hungry but i still want to eat something i've been seeing this carrot salad on tiktok and you guys know that i've been struggling with balancing my hormones again so basically apparently there's this thing fiber and carrots that help your body rid the excess estrogen so i mean it's worth a try because it's literally i'm just going to be eating a carrot but i'm going to make it into a salad because that's the thing that went viral on tiktok i've actually had a carrot salad before i made it for myself like a few months ago and i actually really like it like they're so underrated basically all you do is cut the carrot into slivers like you peel it and then you put like olive oil vinegar salt pepper and it's honestly so good and i mean if it can help to balance my hormones i'm gonna try it it's something that's so easy to do it's healthy and i'm honestly willing to try anything at this point to help my body so let's make a little cute carrot salad for lunch so random because i've never heard of carrots helping hormones like this is the most random fact i've ever heard of. i've only ever heard of carrots being good for your eyesight just associate carrots with eyesight so <laughs> i did this yesterday and then i'm gonna do today so i can't tell you if it actually works or not but i will give you guys a few week update once i start doing it for a while because i'm gonna try my best to have like one carrot a day so let's do that This is how the salad turned out. It looks so good. I'm honestly just gonna eat this with chopsticks because it just makes it more fun. It's honestly really good. If you put like the vinegar and stuff, it makes it so good. And it's just like really refreshing this way. But if you don't wanna do a salad, you can just literally eat a carrot if you wanna try out the hormone thing, but. I really just wanna get the kitchen cleaned because I've been putting it off, but it just needs to be clean. Like I got dishes in the sink, as you can see, and this is like from not today. And then I just wanna put away the drying rack. It's not like too bad, but I just wanna like clean everything to have a clean slate for tonight when I wanna make dinner. One thing that I've been obsessed with doing lately is making my to-do list on paper. I used to make my to-do list like on Notion on the computer, but it just doesn't hit the same as physically writing it out and physically checking it off because I would do like the check boxes on Notion and then just like, you know, write my to-do list on there. I don't know what or why, but it just hits so different to have it on paper. 
so i've been going back to doing my paper to-do lists every day but in terms of like my content planning i still do all that like on notion electronically just because it's easy to move things around and i really like it i want to get like an official to-do list this is just like in the meantime but i want to get like a cute little notepad for it but anyways that's just one thing that i've been loving doing is making my to-do list physical instead of on the computer It is later now and I'm just about to make an apple crumble because I have a good recipe that I want to show you guys because I'm like a sugar fiend. I need a dessert every single time I eat dinner. Like I just need something sweet. I love sugar. It's like a bad addiction. So I try to get my sugar and like dessert in more natural ways instead of like eating processed sugar and like really unhealthy desserts every night so i try to like satisfy my sweet tooth with something that can be a little bit more healthy so i've been obsessed with making apple crumble i made it like every single day last month and then i was like okay i need to chill and i took a little break from it but i just bought apples recently to make it again so that's what we're gonna do tonight and i'm gonna show you guys how i make it because the recipe i just feel like is so easy and it's so good so i'm like why not share with you guys whenever i watch youtube and somebody shows like a recipe in their vlog or something i love when they do that because i always end up trying it so i hope you guys don't mind that this is like the second recipe today that i'm showing you but let me know if you like the recipe contents but anyways yeah this has been like my go-to dessert lately and it's just so delicious it's so good i've been trying my best to like lay back on the sugar because i know it's not good for you like especially if you're hormones i'm trying to balance my hormones out the worst thing i can do is probably eat a lot of sugar so as long as i'm getting it in like more natural ways then i feel better about it so first thing that we're gonna do here is just preheat the oven it's gonna go at 325 there we go Here is how it turned out. Now I'm just gonna throw it in the oven for, I think, 40 minutes, and then it should be perfectly cooked. Yeah, it's honestly so easy to make, and it's so healthy, and I'm just obsessed. So I'm just gonna quickly throw this in the oven because it's already preheated because we did it before we started to make it. Yeah, it's so freaking good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay. I'm just waiting for the crumble to cook and I'm watching Love Island. It has been my comfort show for so long now. I got really into Love Island, I wanna say like about a year ago and I got so obsessed with it. In one season, there's like 58 episodes or something crazy like that. And they're each like 45 minutes, but it's just my comfort show. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but it's so much better than The Bachelor, so much better than any dating show I've ever watched. It's just so entertaining and it's just like my comfort show. The perfect night for me, honestly is like my self-care done and i have a dessert in my hand some sort of yummy treat my laptop open i'm online shopping with a glass of kombucha and i'm watching love island like that is just my dream night honestly if you guys have never watched love island 10 out of 10 would recommend i have a hey you subscription and it only cost me like seven dollars a month it's honestly so cheap they have all the seasons of love island on there so i'm watching the new one right now and this is episode 18 but i've been watching it as my nightly show because whenever i finish work and i just start relaxing for the night i like to put on a show or something and this has been my go-to show lately i watch like about one to two episodes a night just as much as like i have time for before i have to go to bed but i don't watch tv in the morning or like during the day just because i feel like once i sit down to watch i like to watch 
and it's just like my time to relax so during the day if i'm eating lunch or something and i want to watch something or i'm doing my makeup i'll normally just put on youtube and that's when i'll like catch up with my youtube subscriptions when i watch tv i like doing that as more of like a relaxing end of the day type of thing and then youtube to me is more something that i correlate with like during the day yeah,